This past November, I had the pleasure of attending the 2019 Manhattan Reefs Frag Swap at Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York. And while I was at the swap, I was given a tour of some reef tanks on permanent display at Pratt by Randy Donowitz, a longtime reefing buddy of mine who helps to coordinate the swap and generate online content primarily for Reefs Magazine under the Reefs.com banner. Randy is also the main reef keeper in charge of the aquariums at the Institute, including a 240-gallon tank known as Pratt Reef. Okay, let's start by talking about the newest tank at Pratt, a Waterbox 170 Pro, which was set up in February of 2019. The tank is 55 inches long by 26 inches wide by 24 inches tall, and this is the first time Randy has tried a bare bottom tank. For rock, he is using dry Marco rock and dead branch rock. The tank is lit with Aluma Magic 4 inch blaze XLED fixtures with Vitamini supplemental wings. The skimmer is a Dulula Great White GW10. Both activated carbon and GFO are being used. For circulation, the tank has an Eco Venture M1 return pump, two Ecotech Vortec MP40s, and an Al Nero 5 powerhead. For calcium and alkalinity supplementation, 50 mLs of ESV Bionic 2 part are dosed daily. Finally, 30 gallon water changes using ESV salt are done every week or two. Okay, now on to Pratt Reef, the 240 gallon tank. This one was originally set up in 2006 and has had many ups and downs and reboots. It measures 8 foot long by 2 feet wide by 2 feet tall and it's a glass cages tank. For lighting there are 6 Ecotech Radeon Gen 4 XR 30W fixtures with diffusers. The tank has an arid C30 algae reactor and an undersized reef octopus skimmer. Carbon in a phosban reactor is also being used as is GFO when needed. Circulation includes a Reflow Snapper Gold pump, one Ecotech Vortec MP60, and three MP40s. 200 milliliters of ESV Bionic 2 part and 20 drops of ESV transition elements are dosed daily. Paxbellum nitrate is used as needed. For food, Benny Reef is used two times per week while six drops of the Polyp Lab Genesis is dosed daily. 40 gallon water changes using ESV salt are done every week or two. The softy tank is really neat and made me think about setting one up myself. The aquarium is a 45 gallon cobalt sea view and has cobalt sea ray filtration and cobalt sea ray lighting. As for circulation, there is an internal pump and an Ecotech MP10 pump. No coral feeds or any additives or supplements, including alkalinity or calcium, are used for this tank. Water changes are done infrequently. Lastly, there is the anemone tank. I think I could spend hours watching this thing. So much is going on in this tank. Anyway, the tank itself was set up in January of 2019, but the anemones are decades old from another system. The clownfish are Sanjay Yoshi's one half black photon clownfish. The aquarium is a custom 150 gallon that measures five foot long by two foot wide by 30 inches tall. And the tank is lit by two Radeon Gen 3 fixtures. For filtration, there is a Dulua GW10 skimmer and both carbon and GFO are used. No supplements of any kind are used and only the fish are fed food. Water changes, once again, are infrequent. Well, that will do it for this multiple tank tour at Pratt. Always a pleasure to visit and check out these beautiful systems. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be alerted to my latest videos. See you next time.